So, Joe, it's been an incredible start to the season for your VPL1 side, unbeaten uh, in the league. How have you seen it so far? Yeah, it's six games, um, four wins and two draws, which has been a really good start to the year. And, you know, it's always a bit of an unknown because every year we have more young players coming through and we really start again uh, with the young boys and, and we see if they're capable of being um, at the level of NPL2 for this, or VPL1, sorry, for this season. So uh, it's been a pleasant surprise, but we've always had confidence in our young talent coming through. So combine the young talent with the more... Um, experienced players like the Alex Menelaus and Adem Juradovic and Casey Bosses and uh, the young boys tend to grow. So exactly how it was going to go, we weren't sure, but it's been a, a really good start to the season and we've been really impressed with the way the boys have gone about it. How have the games been? You know, you've had some great experiences against Preston in front of a hostile crowd and also testing yourselves against some of the better teams in the league as well. Uh, how pleasing is it for you to know or to reaffirm that the boys really should belong here, if not in the league above as well? Yeah, it, we're, we're always looking to challenge the players to the highest possible level. And, and again, I might say that I wasn't sure how we'd cope um, because we do start uh, with a new batch of players as well. But um, playing against the Northgates, playing against the Preston away, we played the two first games were away from home and uh, it was a really solid test for the boys. And they showed from the very first game that they were eager to, to push themselves and eager to prove that they were worth um, a, a position not only within the league but um, even higher and I think we've shown that early on. Um, I think that as far as the, the playing style of NPL2 goes, it's, it's great to be up a division for, compared to last year. We, we play uh, a lot of good historical teams who play good football and, and that's always been what we've strived for to make sure that we can match it with the very best. So. Um, it's been a good start, like we mentioned. We've played some really strong teams. Preston away and Northcote away were great stepping stones and we've progressed from there. And um, we've played George Cross on the weekend, um, who we had to match physically and we got a, a, a point away from home. So overall, it's been a great start to the boys. And you know, when they start this way, you just expect them to grow even further going forward. And a few of the scholarship boys have obviously stood up. Bozer and Eli, they found themselves on the score sheet. Jesse Howie uh, leads your scoring with three goals so far. How's he been and some of the other boys in the team as well? Yeah, you're right. The, the scholarship boys come down and they help out a great deal. And they've, they've had a great attitude in terms of playing well and also helping the younger boys grow. So whether it was Boz or Eli Adams or Christian Siliano and Ahmed Taylor, um, all those boys come down and really set the standards, which is, which is really pleasing. Um, there's always one player who um, jumps out of the box that we're not quite sure of you know, how well they'll develop and Jesse's been the one this year who's really come out of the woodwork and um, from pre-season day one he's really showed that um, he was a young talent going forward and he really took his opportunity as well so uh, when that happens you're always really pleased and there's a lot more young boys um, coming through the academy system that are going to do the same as Jesse's done so Jesse knows it's He's got to keep performing because there's a lot of boys um, at the moment knocking on the door wanting to get in. They deserve opportunities as well. Um, but I think he's just enjoyed the environment and been able to thrive within a good team performance. And so Jesse um, has had a great start as well to the season. This week, obviously, a Melbourne derby. It's our first Melbourne derby in obviously a couple of seasons now, playing in separate divisions. How exciting is that for you? Yeah, I think they're always exciting games. And I think it's, it has been like that in the past and through the whole academy system, you know, when we play Melbourne City or Western, uh, a bit more special maybe for the boys because uh, we do consider that the elite pathway throughout the um, Victorian uh, football environment and landscape. So it's always exciting to play uh, Melbourne City. So. Uh, in the past, it's, it's been a, a really intense game, an exciting game, one the boys look forward to. And then you challenge yourself to see if we can get the bragging rights on the day. So we're looking forward to the game on the weekend. You're right, it's been a couple of years since we've last played them. Uh, but we'll, we'll back ourselves into putting a really good performance and uh, hopefully get the points on the weekend as well.